this is a very good twilight soap twilight or bathing soap so watch the video with me and watch the video to the end and let's achieve this how you will make this step by step watch the video to the end and let's get it done this is a very good bathing soap all purpose it can be used on the face it can be used on the body so let's go hey guys so let's make regular bathing soap the soap that you can use to bath every day okay so this is my shea butter i'm melting i'm going to use some shea butter just some little amount of shea butter because the soap i'm doing is not plenty soap okay and this soup too, you can sell it. You can sell it at, uh, some people will buy it as their normal birthday soup. All right, so this is a shea butter with melted. So I'm going to add some palm kernel oil to it. I'll mix it with some palm kernel oil. This, and I'm going to, I'll strain it. I'll strain it and sieve out the particles in it. Okay, so we've got some clear oil here. Okay, so this is my calcium powder. I'm using calcium powder. Yes, so this is also the light solution I'll be using. So I'm going to use the light solution to dissolve my calcium powder. This calcium powder is very good for the skin you know it prevents those kind of uh, easily attracted skin infection and all of it actually removes them too so normally if I'm making my usual bathing soap you should add it it has benefits to the skin and it's also a filler it's also a filler so I'm going to, I'm dissolving everything into my light solution. It's also a filler. Just you know the percentage to use so that it will not be much, too much in your soap. Because if it's too much, it prevents the lardening of the soap. So you can add other other stuffs like SLS to your soap. So this is in this is my calcium powder mixed in the light solution as you can see. So it will prevent me from adding more too much uh, water in my soap because it's a cold process cold process so Okay, so I will pour my oils here, the shea butter with the palm kernel oil over here. I'll add my, my perfume, a little perfume. So right now I'm going to mix this, the light solution the calcium 
powder like solution into our oil gradually It is smelling so so well right now. Smelling very nice. I'll add some vitamin E oil. Vitamin E. Just a drop. I'll also add some glycerin. Please, every measurement will be dropped down the comment section. I think I should add some color to it since it's a bath, a bathing soap. some yellow so I'm going to use it I was actually looking for blue but I've not found blue color Okay, so let's transfer it into the mold.
Okay, so we we'll allow it to harden now. Now we'll unmold it. All right, guys. So this is how it is looking like. This is just some few hours. Let's just say five hours, and it has and it has hardened up. But this is cold process, so we are going to allow it. We we'll leave it on. We we'll leave it to harden up. Sorry, we'll leave it to cure for, for four to six weeks. So have you seen, we've got a beautiful bathing soap. This soap, you can use it to bath and it will remove other skin issues like hyperpigmentation, it will make your skin look very smooth. You can as well sell it. It's good for the face and the body. Very good like that. So this is how you can make your soap. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.